Raids, that's right, raids, one of the biggest, coolest, newest features coming to Minecraft Village and Pillage update this week. We're gonna go over exactly how they work right now. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with an awesome, cool video. Here we are at the outpost talking about raids. Guys, Village and Pillage is going to be set to be released on Tuesday this week, and we need to know what's going on. So this is one of the major feature changes that's coming. I'm going to explain to you exactly how it works, what's going to happen moving forward. And yeah, guys, for this one here, let's go for 371 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below, guys. Twitter is the spot to catch me and all my news updates. Yeah, Twitter, follow me on the Twitter. So let's do this, guys. We are here right near a village, guys. As you can see, we are going to go over the entire villager kind of uh, raid procedure, exactly what goes on. A little bit of wiki, a little bit of me explaining. I'm surprised this guy's that far. I hope he doesn't go and I hope that whole village isn't dead already because I've been setting up waiting for this one. Uh, no, looks looks legit. Looks legit. Is that a zombie? Oh no, everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. Okay, so this pillager is off on his own doing his own thing. So let's start this off, guys. Raids. I'm gonna just we're gonna show you right from the beginning because we have the whole entire raid is actually ready to be set up right here because we have the ominous villager or the ominous pillager right here. So let's just go through the wiki right here. So bang, raid. Raids spawn near villages of any size with at least one valid bed and a villager when the player with bad omen status effect enters. This status effect is obtained when a player kills an illager captain, which can be found at pillager outposts or in pillager illager patrols with the illager banner. Uh, in Java edition, if a player kills more captains and the stacks the effects of the bad omen, more types of illagers spawn in the area. Ravengers spawn starting at wave two with pillagers riding on top of them, uh, witches starting at wave three and evokers starting at wave five. Patrol captains give one to five bad omen levels when killed in Java edition. Outpost captains always give one level only. These effects also stack to spawn more difficult raids. So keep going bedrock edition guys, the bedrock, the bad omen effect does not accumulate by killing more captains. A number of waves is three on easy, five on normal, and seven on hard. So that's just pretty much the way it works here, guys. Vindicators start at spawn at wave two, Ravagers at wave three, and Witches at wave four. So uh, basically you have it, if you just have it on normal, uh, you'll get a full raid. If you have it on easy though, you're missing the last, the last couple rounds of waves, which makes it a lot easier. Let's keep going down here right here guys so upon entering a village the effect will be randomly uh go into a red pink boss bar name raid will appear it look exactly like basically it looks exactly like uh <clears throat> the enderman or the wither the wither bar something like that uh there's gonna be a cool horn and then there'll be a digging ring of the bell basically telling all the villagers to run and run inside their house so uh Illagers not spawned by a raid except naturally witches may join in a wave in the raid. So witches will join in a raid possibly. Illager patrol spawns near the raid. Illusioners despite being unused mob. Uh, there is no illusioners from what I understand. You're not going to see illusioners. They're not actually added into. I did a whole video on illusioners. They're in the game code, but they're not actually used in any raids at the moment. Uh, in Bedrock Edition, Illagers cannot join raids. If a new raid is triggered after all beds are destroyed, then replaced. Previous remaining Illagers will be counted in the raid. Boss Bar Illager Captains are unused in Bedrock Edition. So uh, I'm not sure how that works in a raid. I think that in the raid they're actually not existent, but they still are what gives you... Uh, they It is what gives you the actual raid effect uh, so that you know it's ready to go. When a raid begins, the event will spawn 0 to 52 blocks away from the village, which the raid takes place, and uh, <clears throat> any biome or any dimension. I did a video showing the raid in the end dimension. Uh, the mobs spawn and will arrive in groups wave after wave following. So basically, this is pretty much it shows you these little charts, how it works. So uh, Vindicators, Ravagers are Ravager Beasts, you're going to see. I'll show them to you after, but... Uh, basically, they only appear in Wave 5 and Wave 3 on Bedrock Edition. Uh, in addition to that, Pillager riding a Ravenger, Evoker riding a Ravenger will only happen in Wave <clears throat> Wave 7 on Bedrock Edition. Uh, that will happen more likely in other versions as well, but you will see that witches also come into the mix. 
this shows you a lot of stuff. So the one thing I'm going to show you before we get in is the raid process on this game actually opens a few options to us. And the main options it opens is loot wise. There is new loot because of this. So basically totems of undying uh, will slowly become more of a thing, uh, especially given the option that before some of these mobs would only spawn one time in the actual mansion. And now that they spawn as many times as you do this means that totems of undying become slowly but surely uh, become more available so bad omen is what triggers the raid uh, if a village is being attacked so let's just go over here bad omen is what triggers the raid i'm going to show you that uh, when a raid ends in victory hero of the village effect is obtained by the player and they're going to get a really cool gift with regards to trading with villagers they'll be getting a discount so ending if a village is being attacked by a raid no longer registers as a village so if the ends so basically destroy the beds the raid will end and the raid bar will display raid defeat and all of the illagers will celebrate the evokers and vindicators will raise their hands and the pillagers will jump up for joy amid sounds including ravengers if all illagers are killed in the final wave any player who has killed an illager in the raid will receive hero of the village effect and the players will shoot off fireworks and the raid bar will display raid victory in the event that all villagers and beds are destroyed in the raids the player receives the bad omen effect again. Raids won't end naturally if there is at least one baby villager due to illagers being unable to attack baby villagers and destroy beds. So you can see we have various loot going on. Uh, villagers during a raid emit sweat particles. They won't be able to trade and they storm in their house. So let's do this. We're going to start and show you a raid. We have a village right nearby. We have villagers nearby as well so let's go ahead and uh, grab ourselves a sword we're just going to do this naturally you can give yourself the status effect of a uh, bad omen but let's go over here and find the guy where'd he go huh he's gone wasn't he here i feel like he was just here Oh, there he is right here. So this is the Illager Captain. When you kill this guy, you're going to get your Bad Omen. You can see the Bad Omen come on the screen right there. That is the start of all the negative stuff. Let's go over here. So now that I have Bad Omen, let's go to the village. Oh my gosh, I'm in the village. Guess what's happening? You can see the raid is kicking in. You can see all of the villagers are now really choked up. They're like, hey, this ain't good. We see the raid coming. They're going to start running inside. They're not going to trade. They're going to be choked up. And they're going to be upset. So, so now basically what happens is this raid is not going to necessarily be that outpost there. A new raid is going to spawn within 58 blocks. So you can see they spawned right over here. So now that this raid spawns right here, they're going to go at this iron golem. They're going to go in. The raids are going to go and they're going to keep going. So it looks like this iron golem did a good job. <laughs> so I feel like that might be raid one. That's pretty cool actually. I've never seen the iron golem just own them. Looking over here, we got ourselves emeralds, we got ourselves all kinds of iron stuff. So I'm thinking that this is going to re-up raid level 2. And we should get another spawning. There they are. So you can see that they spawned again right here. So this is level 2. Unfortunately, I don't believe that this iron golem is going to have what it takes uh, to kill all of these guys. So let's go and uh, let's assist. Let's assist this iron golem. What? <laughs> that guy did good. And let's assist them and let's get them through. You can see here we have, that's a Vindicator right there. You can see we now have an Enchanted Book. Look at that, souped up Enchanted Book. And this guy here is hunting. So we're going to help this raid go through all the steps here, basically. So as you can see, we're good. I don't think there is any. Is there any more, any more Illagers here? So no more Illagers. We don't want to stop the raid because of... Uh, getting rid of beds would be the only other way. But you can see this is definitely a benefit. There are tons more... Tons more emeralds and things like that. More enchanted books over here as well. Actually, I just threw that enchanted book. So, Feather Falling 4. That's a souped up book. And you get the gist of it. This raid will go on all the way through. Once the raid is complete and you have killed everybody and you're feeling good about it, the hero of the village will be bango bango like this. This is what it looks like. Oh, there is one more. Oh, look at this. This guy's hiding. And there you go. So I guess we're going to let it go. Let's 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 actually put it through all the cycles. I think this would be fun to do. So now that this does this, we got to keep our friend the Iron Golem. Notice the villagers are pretty choked up right now. They're not feeling it. They're like, uh, yeah, what's going on here? Once this fills up, there's going to be another patrol. So this one here should have some more stuff in it. Um... 
So here it is right here. So this one has Ravengers. As you can see, there's Ravengers in the third one here. I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing some boosts here, so let's help it out. Again, emeralds are looking good. The one thing I've noticed is they're not. There's no totems yet, so our iron golem is a bit the dust, but that's okay. Let's go here. Keep going, and there you go. So you can see we got Hero of the Village, and the reason we got Hero of the Village is you're going to get yourself unlimited better trades. First of all, if we go to these guys right here, they're happy. The trades will be at a discount. I'm not sure. See what it does. It shows your Hero of the Village discount. In addition, the reason we got it right now is because we're on easy. I have it set on easy mode to save ourselves some time, and you can see we're on easy. Only three rounds of raids. Done, done, and done. So there you go, guys. I hope you understand what's going on. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, oh. <laughs>